If you are watching this video, I'm pretty sure you have also had similar kind of experience as mine when you have bought a VPN connection and you ask for a refund, but you are finding it really hard to get the refund. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you my experience while buying a VPN and then trying to get a refund, which was really very, very hard than what I expected. Based on the recommendation from some of the YouTubers, I actually bought a subscription for CyberCoast VPN. Right now I'm sitting in Sweden and I wanted to access some of the content in India. For example, Hotstar, Geo Cinema and many other streaming service. Beside that, there are like some government websites and official websites which are not opening over here and I wanted to access them. So based on the recommendation from one of the YouTuber, who had said that this VPN is gonna work like charm. Everything is gonna work. So I actually bought a two year subscription for Cyber Coast. And I was like super excited that now I'm gonna stream all the services from India over here in Sweden. But then I was so disappointed, nothing was working. I was able to open Geo Cinema and many other OTT platforms, but when you actually try to play the video, it doesn't work. Many of the official websites, government websites, they were not opening over here. Typically, when you buy a VPN, you would have some sort of a guarantee that within 30 days or 15 days, you can ask for a refund. While you buy the product, they actually market it like that it's so simple and straightforward to get it and also straightforward to ask for a refund. But it is actually not that straightforward. So the first hassle I faced was trying to figure out how I can cancel my subscription or ask for a refund. So I had to spend almost like 10 to 15 minutes trying to go through everywhere in the website to just find the option of how I can ask for a refund. Finally, I found the page on which I got this information and the process was that I need to email to their customer service along with my username and ID. So I did that and then I got an email back from them that I need to attach my invoice and the reason of cancellation. I did that. Even after that, the next day when I got an email, they said, have you tried this? Have you tried to disconnect and try on uh, some different devices, which laptop you are using, which browser you are using and uh, from which country you are trying to access and what you are trying to access. So they ask number of different questions. I answered those. Then again and again, I asked, I need a refund, but still they would not issue you a refund. They would try to keep you in the loop and they would say, can you try this solution? Can you have a call with one of our customer service representative? But they would not want to issue you a refund. So the problem is that most of the guys in these companies who are working in the customer support, their target is to retain the customer. They don't want to issue you a refund. They want to have a 100% retention. But at the same time, I really wonder why do they keep this kind of a policy that if you don't like our service, you can always ask for a refund. I expect that if you are asking for a refund, it should be issued right away without so much questioning. It can be a bit tricky and also annoying at the same time. And some of you would also give up on that and keep the subscription. And that way, this VPN company is gonna get richer and richer and you are still not getting the refund. So one solution that I can tell you to get a guaranteed refund is that in each and every email, just keep it to the point. If they ask you that, have you tried this solution? Tell them, yes, I have tried. And always politely ask, please issue me a refund. I want my money back. That has to be stressed upon in each and every communication that you have with them. If you are sounding confused, no, maybe I did this and that, they would try to prolong the conversation and convince you to keep the service. And it can happen that due to this to and fro communication, you might lose out on the window of getting the refund back. For example, if your window was 30 days and this communication went on for like a month and it reaches 31st day, then you cannot get a refund. So keep your communication to the point and always say, I need my money back. Please issue me a refund. If you had similar kind of experience trying to get your refund from a VPN company, please comment over here. I would love to listen to your experience as well. And if you like this video, please like it, share it with your friends so that they can also get this useful information. And if you like my content, please subscribe to the channel and press the notification icon.